Good evening, everyone. This is the Toge Horseman reporting to you live from the San Francisco Bay Area with a beta test of the OnSwitch app. Uh, this is iOS and Apple Watch edition for the Philips Hue bulbs. Uh, this is a test flight app version 1.1.18.8 in case you're curious courtesy of David Pusner and of course the Toge Horseman always on top of things. So I've been asked to test the Aurora and Lightning scenes and I already filmed a video for the Aurora so I'm gonna do it for the Lightning now and let's go ahead and start it up. So this is the Lightning app or lightning scene. So this is being filmed again with the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition 4K 30 frames per second wide angle field of view. And this is lightning. So the um, particular group of bulbs here there it goes, is the scene that I call trees. This is the rear stage of my living room. Three bulbs, standard bulbs on the left, three standard bulbs on the right, and three blooms in the middle. And this creates a nice ambient effect in the rear stage of my living room. So I kind of forgot that this actually has a sound um, component to it. So I'm going to turn on the sound um, and that should be perfectly in sync with the lights would be my assumption. So I'm going to crank up the sound and just let it ride out for a bit. Pardon the interruption, my phone just fell off of the tripod and onto the ground. Um, thankfully I have a pretty good case and looks like everything's in good condition, but um, that pleasant thud that you might have heard was the sound of the phone falling. And the lights went off during that, but that was probably an artifact of the phone falling, not the app crashing. So. I'm just going to hold it now. So as I know from anecdotal experience and a little bit of earth science studies in high school, lightning and thunder don't always happen at the same time. It kind of depends on how far away you are from the light source. So it looks like there's some variance in when the thunder sounds and when the lightning claps in the app. So I'm not sure if that's deliberate, but it is true to life experience, so I can appreciate that. It seems that not always do the lights strobe at the same time. I'm not sure if that's deliberate or some sort of lag, but just commenting as requested.
So I'm just silencing the sound effects for a second. I can say that this is probably not a scene that I would use um, on a regular basis. It's kind of a nice novelty scene to show off to the naysayers who think that the Philips Hue bulbs are just a gimmick. It's pretty cool. It's kind of a gimmicky scene. I can appreciate it, but I, I couldn't imagine myself um, sitting in a room listening to raindrops and having sudden flashing lights all the time. So um, definitely a cool concept. Um, love it, but wouldn't use it constantly. I think that the Aurora scene is one that I would just have chilling during music or just hanging out lounging around, but this is not a lounging type of scene. Um, it's it's kind of interesting how the, the lights will strobe on but kind of fade down. I do like that. It would be a little more disorienting if they were just straight up strobing. So that's that's that. That's my feedback. Um, love it because it's on switch. I wouldn't use it regularly. I uh, kind of like how the app rolls out and has a bit of a natural earth science feel to it. Uh, this is Toge Horseman signing out.